Do you want to take your stream to the next level with this bad boy? It's completely controlled inside of OBS, meaning you can edit all the sources without needing to know how to code or anything. You just need to know how to use OBS. I'm going to walk you through installing it and troubleshooting steps if you have any issues at all. Did I mention it is completely free too? Let's get into it. Put your rock in for the stone. Heyo, duckies, Andy Lippy here. Uh, there are a few important things I should mention. This product and the other stream up products only support OBS 28 and above. If you haven't upgraded yet, I'll leave a video up here and in the description on how you can upgrade without any issues. Trust me, it's easy. Jump into our stream up website to download the product hit download then it will take you over to our coffee page we would love it if you considered putting in a dollar or so as it will go a long way in supporting us making these incredible products for you if you cannot afford a dollar you can just put in a big fat zero in the box then proceed to download the product for free the first thing we need to do is install everything in folder one just double click into there and open the stream up plug installer website this is a tool created by Silverlink, uh, and you just press download, and it's basically going to make sure all your OBS plugins are up to date. So we'll just bang a dollar in there if you want to. Obviously, it'll be a massive help towards us, and just get that downloaded. If you need help on how to install it, there is a video just here that you can watch, and that'll tell you exactly how to install everything. Once that's done, we can open up OBS and have a little bit of fun. In the top left hand corner of obs we can press tools and go down to stream up in here we're going to navigate to wherever we've saved that folder to so mine's because i've got every single stream up product it's all in here in folder two there's obs install and open the dot stream up file so i'm going to double click that and you'll see we've got dsk blur intermix and dsk blur scene two scenes have been created so the way that this works is you need to click on intermix intermix is going to work as your intermediate scene so anything that you want to be on top of uh, a certain scene and you want everything behind it to be blurred that is what's going to be on there so for this example i'm going to create a color source for now just to keep it nice and basic and i'll do it uh, we'll say we'll do like a little a little cube like so we'll do 1080 by 1080 but what I'll actually do is edit the color again. I'm going to add some transparency to it. So I'll set it to 100. So now it's semi-transparent. The next thing we need to do is click on DSK Blur Scene. And we need to add the DSK Blur Scene to the downstream keyer, which should be a dock because you've installed the plugin as part of the StreamUp plug installer. If you go up to Docs in the top left, you'll see Downstream Keyer. And then you can dock it somewhere inside of OBS. Whilst you've got the DSK Blur scene selected, we're going to press the plus sign on the downstream keyer, and it should pop up like so. Now, if I go to any other scene, so I'll choose this scene just here, and I select the downstream keyer um, scene there, you'll see it's now appeared on screen like so. And that will actually stay on screen for any other scene transition. If you want to learn more how the downstream keyer works i will leave a video in the description because i've already done a video on it uh, i think i might do a more up-to-date one so make sure you are subscribed for that as well and basically anything we add into this scene for instance if i wanted to add a gif or something like that i can totally do that even if i wanted to do something like add a scene for instance and i'll choose my camera scene i'll add it on there i can also add a filter to the scene and we can do some color correction i could also bring the opacity down like so so i'm pretty semi uh, transparent i'll bring myself more over this way and then now when i go back to a different scene you can see we've got this cool ghost in effect whilst everything behind me is blurred to that shape which is pretty cool so you can merge this with uh, some nice effects such as if I get rid of this color source for now and I do something like add in a NVIDIA background removal like so. It will remove the background so it will be more intricate shape. And then now it's only blurring behind me, which is a really good demonstration of how cool 
this plugin can get and how versatile it is but it's done in such a way to make it easy for you all you need to do anything you want to uh, be put out in the foreground and anything behind it blurred you just put it in the intermix like so obviously you can get different looks as well by adjusting not just the opacity but also adjusting things like gamma as well you can make it look um like more, less ghosty if you wanted to uh, we can mess around with the 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 opacity to get a better clearer look of me or something like that and obviously merge different sources together obviously as i start playing around with it more i'll get different looks and you can do this with literally any kind of source which is cool if you are running into any issues at all don't worry we have a discord server you can find the link in the file you downloaded or on the stream up website just join and search for the product in the different channels each product has its own forum this means you can search through the posts to see if someone else has had your issue and if not create a new post please be as accurate as possible and provide screenshots so we can actually help if you like this product then tell youtube and press that like button also subscribe as there are tons more products on the way speaking of check out this playlist full of stream up products see you over there put your rug over the stone